What's going on there guys? Good evening. Uh, the Earthmaster here on the live stream uh, with an update video on this Friday evening, January 14, 2022, about 7 o'clock, uh, 7 p.m. West Coast time, latest quake, a 4.8 earthquake into the Indonesia area, right around the region where they've seen that 6.6 .6 earthquake strike uh, earlier this morning, late last night, some aftershock sequences kicking up there with the latest earthquake there on the globe uh, looking at the latest map here on the usgs let's go ahead and pop this up here uh, real quick if i can we'll go ahead and do this been having some issues here lately uh, with uh, some uh, buffering and whatnot here on the channel trying to get that issue fixed hopefully that goes away pretty soon not for sure if it's on the youtube side or my side i've done pretty much everything i can with the uh, buffering issues on the live stream uh, so we'll have to see if YouTube can sort it out uh, earthquake activity a little bit of ramping up here along the Indonesia islands like I mentioned here west or east of the 6.6 uh, .6 that struck earlier uh, right around the Papua New Guinea area as well seen some uh, movement of 5.4 at 10 kilometers and also a little bit of activity along the Kermadec Trench and into the Fiji Islands where we've seen a 4.4 uh, earthquake at 586 kilometers. That's pretty deep a movement in that region. Up here around the uh, Mariana Trench, northward to the Japan Trench. A little bit of deeper movement along the uh, western part of the trench up there. 4.1, 164 kilometers for that earthquake. Uh, also up here, a uh, fairly deep one as well. 4.6 at 71 kilometers into the uh, Japan Trench area. Still relatively quiet at the subduction zone. As far as any mega quake potential goes, of course, uh, accumulated stress is building. Uh, the more earthquakes we see down dip downstream, the high, higher likelihood of some possible large scale movement there towards the uh, subduction zone. The Aleutian Trench, uh, same for this area. A little bit of activity around the Fox Islands region. A couple uh, twos and fours kicking off here. Let's go ahead and go to the all magnitudes. Uh, a little bit of activity stretching up from that region into the uh, mainland up there around the Alaska area. Not a whole lot of activity, just a little bit of movement around the uh, Anchorage area and around, it uh, uh, looks like up around the uh, Denali area as well. Along the uh, eastern part of the Pacific Ring of Fire, seen some movement around the plate boundary here of North American and Pacific Plate. Uh, but not a whole lot, just a little bit of movement. Uh, West Coast uh, looking pretty quiet far as general activity goes along the uh, Casca uh, Cascadia. Let's go ahead and check out the tremor map here real quick. With the Cascadia showing zero tremors once again. Zip zero. Pretty quiet here into the Pacific Northwest as well. Just a little bit of movement around the Mount Rainier area. Looks like a couple microquakes uh, around the summit and just to the west and southwest of that volcano. Uh, let's see what else we got here into the Golden State, California. Ridgecrest seeing some activity as well and a little, little bit of movement in the San Jacinto Fault area. But uh, overall diminishing activity in that region of the state. Also off of the San Andreas Fault into the Calaveras Fault Zone. It's a couple small microquakes in that area. North American plate looks pretty quiet, though, if you're looking at it as a whole. Not a whole lot of general movement, uh, and that can go for the same as the uh, Middle America Trench in South America. Only a little bit of activity around the Puerto Rico region here over the last 24 hours. Uh, looking at the Big Island, of course, Kilauea and the southeast flank ramping up, and some new movement up here north of Mauna Kea. Uh, looking at a couple twos kicking up here, including... Uh, 2.1 and also deeper 2.1 here at 39.3 kilometers so some activity taking uh, taking place there underneath the big island kind of watching that uh, for some potential movement as well uh, Tonga of course we already covered this area here uh, looking at the aftershock sequences following that 6.4 so far only three at least sizable earthquakes I'm sure there's many more uh, that the USGS is not reporting they're at the uh, Java Trench area around the indonesia area uh Tahikistan region seeing a little bit of movement also around the afghanistan area with a 5.1 uh, 103 kilometers for one of those earthquakes 208 kilometers for that 4.3 just to the west there uh 
middle Mediterranean Sea looking fairly quiet. Uh, 4.3 near the Albania area and also this uh, Tanzania earthquake was from earlier this morning. So not a whole lot of movement there. Uh, in the African continent, uh, Yellowstone. What do we got going on in Yellowstone? Some earthquake activity, as you can see defined here on the map. Uh, Well-defined localized earthquake activity. Some of this may be ice quakes as well. But this here, generally speaking, is uh, plate tectonics. And some earthquakes there taking place on some normal faulting, it looks like. Uh, looking uh, at the... Uh, at least the activity confined here to the southeast region of the caldera. Not a whole lot going on elsewhere at the Yellowstone National Park. Let's go ahead and check out the solar weather. Got some somewhat big events popping off there on the sun with a G2 class storm now predicted with a KP index that did reach 6 earlier. Uh, it has since dropped down to the 5 threshold. Uh, expected to see that overnight and over the next night or so. Uh, with the uh, probability of seeing some higher latitude auroras. 65% chance and 70% chance here over the next couple nights. That activity coming from a coronal hole. Uh, that is the Earth side facing, or at least facing the Earth side here. You can see 44 and this other feature here. But also, we had a, uh, a flare kickoff that possibly produced a CME that could be Earth-directed. Uh, so we will have to keep an eye on that over the coming days as well. It came from a uh, M1.8 solar flare. It was off the northeast limb around the uh, returning sunspot 2921. Uh, nothing uh, major, but uh, still kind of some heightened solar activity kicking up here on the sun. So i uh, got to keep an eye on that. That activity, right, kind of plays a major part on some activity. What's going on here on Earth? Of course, you got Mercury. A whole lot of stuff going on with Mercury. And the uh, retrograde of that right now, starting today. Kind of felt the negativity of that uh, earlier today. <laughs> Almost had someone rear in me, not paying attention uh, on their phone. And uh, had to swerve to miss me. But uh, some other aspects to that uh, negativity as well. I don't know if anybody else notices that uh, when it comes to certain alignments and whatnot uh, with the stars and, and the planets. But uh, uh, when Mercury uh, does its things there uh, a couple times a year, uh, of course, which started today, man, I sure noticed it. I sure noticed the negativity up in the air. Or maybe that's the north wind that kicked up here. I don't know. Either way, uh, definitely uh, not the best day. I barbecued up some yummy tri-tip and some chicken. And uh, gosh darn it, I couldn't taste it. I couldn't smell it. Uh, had some cherry, actually, I had some black walnut bark uh, smoking the meat, but uh, I couldn't even, I could barely smell that. So, uh, not good. I'm waiting for my taste and my smell senses to come back, which I hope is uh, very soon. Because, uh, man, it's, uh, well, what's the point of being human, right? If you can't enjoy your senses out there. Uh, and I love food. I love to smell things. And right now, it's not possible. So, All right, folks. I'm going to jump off here. Have a good night. Stay safe out there. A whole lot going on in the world. It's a weekend. Uh, make, sure you, uh, make sure you play it safe out there. We'll chat you guys a little bit later on. Peace out.